It appears that Mr. Epstein's trial will not take place until next year. There are a number of motions that have to be filed. The defense was indicating that uh, it is going to make motions having to do with uh, what they allege was a non-prosecution agreement, and they also allege that there are complex constitutional issues uh, involved in this case. I will say as to the clients that I represent, whose names I will not disclose at this time, nor will I disclose the content of what they allege, that I will say that none of them were involved in the previous Florida case. Um, but, and none of them have any plans to do any interviews at this time. <clears throat> there are a number of victims or alleged victims who have not come forward uh, because they are in fear. I want to uh, share that any victim who has not come forward or believed she's a victim should come forward at this time. They can speak to private attorneys such as I am and, and then they enjoy complete confidentiality. No private attorney can disclose what an accuser says to her or him. If they have had any contact with Ms. Maxwell. I mean, Mr. Epstein, if convicted, could face the rest of his life in prison. That's possible. So um, they want to make sure they're prepared. And my sense of it is that it's likely that the defense has discussed this with Mr. Epstein, the length of time they would need to prepare for this trial and that he's agreed to that, or the defense would not be seeking those extra months to prepare. Because my educated guess is that every day in prison is probably a day that feels like years to Mr. Epstein. And so he would like to have a trial as soon as possible, but he also wants to make sure that his attorneys are prepared. That's my, my educated guess. I, I, I cannot disclose.